gain another two or three metres of real estate, but unfortunately the ref didn't see it that way. He's the one you've got to agree by. Paul Bowman taking the pass off Scott Prince and getting it back to 30 from the line. Prince again. Now through Jones to Goldthorpe, turning it inside to Valentine. Still going, Sean Valentine. That's only the second tackle. They're 11 metres up. To Peter Jones. Couldn't pick up Buttergig. Went close to throwing that pass to him. Murphy a dummy half away to Goldthorpe. Goldthorpe wide to Prince. Turned on the inside to Bowman. Bowman tackled by Eisbunker. Buttergig coming at an angle. John Buttergig back to Hetherington. Then to Murphy. His pass goes away to Smith. That pass to Jones looked forward and pulled up by the referee. Forward pass. Crowd didn't hear the whistle, but there's no doubt it was forward and the referee saw it. Much to the relief of Mitch Healy that beats that here. Well, the Sharks, I don't think there was any doubt in their minds. E.T. never moved. There's a problem here for Mitch Healy as we watch the replay for Peter Jones. Just on that replay there, it didn't look like there was too much in it. A different angle shows a different story. This is a blow for the Sharks. Mitch Healy with that left thigh very heavily strapped to start with and in trouble. Well, obviously, with that heavy padding, it would in, tend to indicate that he's got a very bad cork. You see the muscle just tightening, making it a little bit difficult for the little bloke to get around. He's got the goal-kicking duties as well. And they rely on him so much, the Sharks. He's their on-field general. And they will certainly miss his organisation. So mistakes playing a major, or injury playing a major part of this game. Oh, there's a dangerous throw. A lift. A lift. Paul Bowman, the player who lifted with Brett Boyd. Not put on report by the referee. Penalty enough. Boyd and Bowman, the two in it. Bowman, the player who got his hands between the legs of the player and tipped him over. The referee rules that a penalty was sufficient. Ten points to four. It is in favour of the Sharks here in Townsville. Brett Kenny will have a report for us shortly on those injured players for both sides. And there is Mitch Healy on the sideline being treated by the medical staff of the Sharks. The Sharkies 22 metres out from North's line. Preston Campbell. Campbell did well to step inside Boyd. He's an elusive little player, Preston Campbell. Peachy. The little cross kick by David Peachy. Noel Goldthorpe got the kick to that. This will be a goal line drop out to North Queensland. Mitch Healy in trouble. Yep, I think we'll see Mitch go and have a shower, actually. Not too much doubt about it. He appears that he will take no further part in the match. A couple of very welcome drops coming into the mouth of the Cowboy skipper. Let the ball go. And they're going to make sure now that they stick rigidly to their defensive plans. Apparently Sheens has told them they've got to get up and in the face a little bit more. They can't rely on hanging back, waiting for the slide. And they're in judgment. Going By Blake Stanley. Just misjudged that completely. So they're back just inside North Queensland's half, the Sharks. Sam Eismunger takes it forward. Let's go sideline to Brett Kenny in and use on the injury front. Uh, yes, John, both the Cowboys players are fine. They're actually both back out on the field. And as far as Mitch Healy goes, as you saw, he uh, was limping very badly from the field. Now, I doubt whether you'll see him at all. They are going to try to work on the leg, but uh, I guess the situation will depend on how Cronulla are doing in this second half. Paul Mellor with a strong run gets to 11 metres from the line. Now to Campbell in the arms of Stanley to Eddinghausen. Coming at pace, E.T. E.T. going for the line. He's in. Andrew Eddinghausen scores the try. That takes him one try closer to Harold Horner. He's just one now behind the famous South Sydney and North Sydney flyer. 
And of course, Horner ranks as number three in the all-time try scoring list. ET now with 151 tries to his credit. Yeah, I think it was a pretty ordinary error in judgment from Peter Jones. I think it was the ball to shift shifted wide. I guess you can't blame him too much. There's not too many people in the game that are going to be able to match it for pace. But I think he sort of swallowed a little bit of a dummy there. He believed that Eddinghausen was going to shift the ball on. Yeah, it was a nice little bit of an in and, in and away here. You'll see, there he goes, going away and then just held on to the ball. Just too much pace. And that's number one. He's got two to go. I don't know whether he, he realises the situation, though, E.T. Probably wouldn't worry him, I don't think, Brett, even if he did. I tell you what about about Andrew Eddinghouse, and he might be a veteran of the game now, but gee, when you see him run like that, he's still got plenty of speed. Hasn't lost all that much in the pace department over the years, has he? He's got a very good running style. Great athlete, E.T. A bit like yourself, Wally, when he's running. <laughs> <laughs> Too bit similar style, isn't he, Wally? No comment? <laughs> Blaine Stanley taking over the kicking duties. At 14-4, this to try and take the Sharks to a 16-4 lead. Not able to do so. So it's the Sharks 14, North Queensland 4 here in Townsville. It could come at any time. No effects, no stunts. This is land to take the restart. Goldthorpe puts the ball into motion. They would have needed that try. They'd be very pleased to get it, the Sharks. Just gives them a little bit of breathing space. As Damien Smith goes in to make the, uh, the tackle on Luke Stewart. Sean Ryan coming back to uh, to the sideline, as to is Wade Forrester. Well, haven't they woven a nice pattern there? Simple five rucks up the middle. We'll get a good chick, kick and chase game. No, they've decided to shift it. Peachy with the right foot kick. Tassel across to pick it up. Returns the ball well, Chris Tassel. Both of the fullbacks tonight having good games. Both very good runners on kick returns. And the Cowboys now know again they have to be the the, uh, the side to score next if they're to stay into this game. Good one-handed pickup on the run by Nandruku. Well, he really is an athlete, isn't he? Nandruku. Simply skating in, picking up on the run. Does it very confidently. Beautiful skills, Nandruku. Paul Mallor, just on his own 20 metre line is where he was put to ground. Nick Graham, hard run gains eight metres. Preston Campbell bursts away from dummy half, just caught the markers napping a little. Easy 10 metres for Campbell and will draw a penalty. That one there, pulling back down. Fair call by Bill Harrigan, the North Queensland defence had to regroup. Not very happy about it either, Tim Sheens. But they were just, uh, just caught a little bit of sleep and Campbell saw that. Darted a very quick eight or nine metres, then went for the quick play the ball and because the defence had to regroup, they knew they virtually had to foul him to stop him from going forward any further. Sean Ryan does well to get it back to Trista, then away to Peachy, turn to Blaine Stanley, now back to Campbell, Campbell almost getting through again. No, get your hands and get out of there quick. Peachy running hard to pick up Forrester. The Sharks looking good, only nine metres out from the line, Campbell's pass away to Stanley, wide to Richardson looking for try number three. This time he's ridden into the ground in the tackle of Damian Smith. Close. Go here. Runs into a high Keep tackle from Smith. Here. Now he's gone, mate. It's fair. No, he's gone. He could be off the field. No, no, he's gone. Come here. 